Well, the images, look at this, they're just incredible still to see. Rising water overtaking the halls of Norwood Hospital. It's now been a year and the hospital still is closed. Losing that hospital has had a major impact on emergency crews and also people who need medical attention. Boston 25 News reporter Jason Law here now with the fallout from the flood. 12 months ago, Norwood Hospital suffered a catastrophe. June 28th, a flash flood poured into the building, rushing through doors and hallways, submerging furniture and cars in a matter of minutes. Healthcare workers and firefighters like Paul Ronco scrambled to save patients and get everybody to higher ground. We didn't realize how good we really had it. Uh, we didn't know what we had until it was gone, basically. A year later, the hospital is eerily quiet. Stacks of unused drywall sit in this entranceway. Bags of trash are piled up around the corner. Ronco says losing the hospital put a tremendous strain on Norwood's EMS system. Just the transport times and the turnaround times uh, have almost doubled and tripled. In my opinion, I don't think this is sustainable uh, the way we're running right now. The Norwood Fire Department averages between 3,000 and 3,500 hospital runs in a year. But with no Norwood Hospital, emergency crews are having to take patients a lot farther. We obtained a year's worth of hospital runs from the Norwood Fire Department. Since the flood, crews made more than 1,700 runs to Beth Israel Deaconess in Needham. That's an extra 15,000 miles. Paramedics made 282 trips to Good Samaritan in Brockton. That's another 4,700 miles. And 212 runs to Newton Wellesley for another 2,700 extra miles. All because Norwood Hospital is no longer an option. The problem is with delays and turnaround times, we are relying heavily on our neighboring towns to come in and, and fill in with their ambulances. Just last week, I think we had seven out-of-town ambulances in on the same day. So it's not only straining Norwood, it's straining all the surrounding towns and cities too. Yes. Good one, Frank, very good. You need a hospital nearby. It's difficult to have had it all these years and then all of a sudden have it taken away from you. Ed DiMartino is 83 years old. He plays bocce ball outside the Norwood Senior Center every Wednesday. In the back of my mind, it's always, you know, I'm 83, what happens if I need an emergency? You know, where do I go? Ronco said neighboring towns like Walpole and Westwood are helping to pick up the slack and plug holes when Norwood crews have to take a patient out of town. Norwood Hospital is owned by Stewart Healthcare based out of Texas, and we tried to find out if the company has a timeline for getting the hospital back open. This is what a spokesperson sent us, quote, Stewart continues to work toward plans to rebuild Norwood Hospital, and we're looking forward to sharing those details with the community in the coming weeks. Jason Law, Boston 25 News. Jason, thank you.